July 10th through the 14th, Chicago hosted the Chicago Tech Week, which was a series of events across the city that culminated in a trade show at Navy Pier on the 13th. I was able to get to a few of the events, like the one hosted by friend of the podcast, Landon Campbell. You may remember from the In Their 20s podcast. He's now general manager of the Chicago office of Drive Capital, one of the biggest VCs in the Midwest. The trade show was hosted in the Grand Ballroom of Navy Pier, which is always a great venue. They had a DJ spinning and various guests speaking. The person most people probably came to see was Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan's right-hand man from the championship Chicago Bulls. P33, an organization that advocates for tech in Chicago, was hosting the event, and one of the founders, Chris Gladwin, was there to speak. You would know Chris from his object storage company, Cleversafe, that got sold to IBM, and his new company, Oceant. There were packed breakout sessions upstairs as well that focused on things like diversity and emerging tech. And I made a new friend, Chirag here, who in his free time from studying to be a doctor at Northwestern is trying to reinvent the electrical outlet, which I got to see a prototype of, and it was pretty cool. And this was also a big recruitment event for many Chicago companies like Discover, Motorola, and Blue Cross Blue Shield. PCs for People is refurbishing PCs for low-income folks, solving the e-waste problem while getting people connected. Perscalis is offering free tech training for low-income folks. Lofty Ventures is helping to develop Chicago's angel investment network. A-Team was there talking about how they can supply companies with fractional tech talent. The local research universities were represented along with all of their various incubators. Stemloop is a company just down the road from me that makes biosensors to test for things like lead. It was a fun week and it was great to see everyone come out for tech in Chicago. I had a lot of great conversations and I'm gonna be doing some interviews with the folks that were there, so stay tuned. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Give us a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.